Hey y'all, welcome back to the village. I'm Aunt Lilybet, and today we are finally going to be able to finish up our three pack Pokeball 10, or the, well, exclusive me and Sir Foot and Mouth Auntie, our three pack from Sam's Club that includes our three Pokeballs. So if you have not watched my previous two videos where we opened up the Premier Ball and the Luxury Ball, I got this at my local Sam's Club, I believe two years ago, for $30. Woo, that was uh, $10 each, each Pokeball. Normally when you find these in stores, and you do often find them in stores, I found them at like Aldi sometimes. Uh, let's see, Walmart, GameStop. Um, I think that's about it where I've seen them. Uh, excuse me if I'm missing one. But you will often find these Pokeball tents individually for $12 to $15. So this was an excellent, excellent bargain. And boy, have we got some great pulls from it. I think the Premier Ball had two and the Luxury Ball had one really great pull. So let's go ahead and get into the Great Ball. And as you can see, I actually left the plastic on. Because normally while uh, Pokeball tins are seriously hard to open, these have actually been really be more better for Auntie. So I'm going to try this one on camera. Toss that and just pop off. Oh. And two out of the three balls so far have had evolving skies in it. So hopefully that trend will continue because that is my favorite sword and shield set. And normally when you buy Pokeball tins, you can look at the bottom and whoop, if I can put it up right side up, you can look at the bottom and get the code. Now, it's not always correct, but you can Google that code, see what packs come in here, and it acts as a guide. I hardly ever pay attention to that. Uh, a credible member of the village told me that little tip, but honestly, I'm usually just excited to find a Pokeball tin that I like the style because I add them to the background and use them for storage, like for the coins or for the dice etc etc all right so we got this really cute eevee coin which is in excellent condition because when we opened up the luxury bowl oh my that's rough <laughs> so that was a very entertaining error 10 and yes we did get evolving skies which has my favorite uh, pack artwork, the Sylveon. So happy to find more Evolving Skies. And it doesn't matter what we get from it because I need all the cards for my uh, Evolving Skies binder. Trying to fill that in. We've also got Lost Origin and Sword and Shield base set. Now one precaution about Pokeball tins uh, let's just go from uh, oldest to newest. Whoops, excuse me. Oldest, newest, and then save Evolving Skies for last just because it's my favorite Sword and Shield set. One thing that you have to be careful about with uh, Pokeball tins is that sometimes the pack art works uh, get scrunched up inside. In fact, the last batch of Pokeball uh, along with the Eevee coin kind of got smooshed a little bit. So if you really care about the condition of your cards, might want to consider something else. Whoop, I forgot to keep that one. I was gonna give y'all the Lost Origin. Yeah, I'll just give y'all the Lost Origin and the Sword and Shield. If you are an old time viewer and just coming back, I used to give out all of the code cards and I loved it, but I have finally figured out how to play the TCG live and I'm playing a little catch up with some of the code cards. 
psychic energy. So I like to give like half for to y'all and then keep the other half uh, so I can learn how to play. Galarian night fly noon seeking a bead a choodle. Honestly I don't have very many of these this set so hopefully I'll pull several new cards for the collection. Rhyhorn, not just the uh tribe binder. Rookity Oh, yes, I don't think I've got that Krabby yet, and I love Krabby. Grookey, so cute. Blitbug is our reverse hollow, and I do have my sleeves ready just in case. No, we don't require a sleeve, but that is a very nice hollow rare frost moth. I call that a win. All right, let's get into Lost Origin. And I'm sorry that there haven't been too many videos up this month. Uh, hopefully that will change soon. But uh, Auntie is an ant again. Woohoo! And uh, we have been busy helping my brother and his family. And when we haven't been doing that, Mom and I have actually been celebrating our birthday month together. And actually, that leads into a great point in the video, or for the next video. Because the very next video I film is going to be our birthday haul for y'all. Yes, so uh, in the previous video, I said I was going to wait on that until the 29th, which is mom's birthday, but we've got company coming. I got to move a bunch of stuff, so we're just going to go ahead and do it as soon as possible. Let's see here. So be looking forward to that birthday haul, y'all. Darkness energy. Auntie's in the dark about what she's doing. Uh, Iskan, very nice. A uh, Dotler, Panic Mask. I have a little mask of panic. Maybe some water energy will help. Glygar, very nice. Fanta, don't spoil it, girl. Shudo Woodo. Uh, Bronzor. Electric, very, very nice. Opal. Whoa! Okay. Opal full art. I know I did not have this one in the collection yet. Okay, I need a sleeve, but let's see if I need to. Oh. Double hitter. Why can't I get another box of these? Oh, wow! This has been the best Pokeball tin from this three pack. Oh, wow. We definitely saved the best for last. Wow. Okay. Two full arts trainer gallery. Okay. So Opal is from the trainer gallery. I had to look down. Excuse me. <laughs> Probably got too close to the camera. So Opal is from the trainer gallery looking absolutely beautiful and just a little bit intimidating. And Fantina is a full art from the main set. Oh wow, she is absolutely stunning. Okay, I am super happy. I love the full arts. I love the art and the detail in them. I am going to be staring at those cards later. Because there's so much detail in there. You can't uh, get it all just from the first couple of peeks. It looks like Pantina's standing inside of a theater, and I never noticed that before. Okay, wow. And here's some water energy. Oh, whoop. Get my own water energy. Oh yes, lucky ice pop. Does anyone else need a uh, popsicle right now? 
feel like it at the end of the summer. Sounds really good for dessert. Either that or ice cream. Hmm. Now that's a conundrum. Scrafty. Can't believe I got that right. Snow leaf badge. Love evolving skies. So happy to be opening it. Let's see if we can actually get something good though. Or not good. They're all good. What am I saying? Let's see if we can get something that's not already in the collection. Swap Loo. Zora. Uh, a metal snowflake. That's as close as I can get. Pitaloo. Uh, bergamite. Let's see if there's something we can add to our binder. Silly auntie. And our reverse hollow is a Hitmonchan. And all right, Lilligan. No wonder Amazing Japan calls this Evolving Cries. <laughs> but whatever, I am perfectly happy with that. Nothing to add to the binder today, but that's not the last of it. Um, let's see here. What else? Oh, thank y'all for subscribing, for liking my videos, and um, for commenting. I love reading your comments. I've got a lot that I need to catch up on, but um, I know that we said that we were going to do that uh, booster box for our 2,000 subscriber opening. We're almost at 1,800, but um, plans may have changed, and tune in to the birthday haul for y'all video to see what I might have in mind. And give me some feedback on whether you like it or not. Because I want to do what y'all are uh, would like to see as much as I can. Oh, also, after the birthday haul, we will be starting to do our search for Venusaurs, starting with some 151 products, my favorite set of all time. So I am really excited for that one. Looking forward to Search for Venusaur and for several more videos coming at you from the village and until, you, until I see you here in the village again. Remember, be different. Be unique. Just be you. Because you weren't designed to be anybody else.